By his immenseness's loincloth, I greet you. That's a weird way to talk to someone. It just feels like, you know, it's got the kind of gravitas for this, for this old last place. Also, why'd you call me boy? <laughs> I don't know, you could be three children on stilts with a lance. Stilts? I would clearly use a lance shaft. Also, three children on top of stilts? That would be much taller than I am. Well, they could be really smart like toddlers. How would they even use stilts? You ever seen a toddler use stilts? Strapped to the stilts. What, like a, like a scarecrow? Like a, like a toddler scarecrow lance guard. That's actually not a scarecrow, that's just free bird food. What kind of birds are eating children? You know what, we should talk more often, this is nice. <laughs> I mean, I did want to ask, what's up with the floor? This is a bit much polished, don't we think? I get the impression it's like a safety hazard. Maybe someone might fall over and break multiple bones. What a great place. I think it's wonderful. And then, for some reason, they break even more bones despite having already finished falling over. Oh, there go the rest of them. And then what if their head falls off? Well, let's just call it a delayed response. It, it, you know, you, you just you shift too much, it happens. Look, all I'm saying is you can't be using polish to the point where someone falls down, breaks all their bones twice, and their head falls off. Well, sometimes it rains. <laughs> We're in dark. There's a roof. There's no walls. It's not horizontal rain. Do you think that rain doesn't go sideways? Look, this is a very non-windy zone. I don't believe you. We're high up. That's where the wind is. What do you know about fucking weather? You're free children on stilts. I know everything about weather. Our knowledge about weather decreases as we age. Anyway, I'm going to go hunt now. Oh my god, Connor, no! Help me. No, I don't want to. Okay. Well, well, well. If it isn't Cotton. I want to talk to you. You let me just lay on the floor in pieces. Well, you know, you've always come back together somehow. Yeah, no help from you. By the way, that food had a one-of-a-kind texture. That's nice. So did the floor. <laughs> oh. I know where the monster is! Is it for your psychic abilities? Maybe! Have you already leapt off the cliff? What cliff? Uh, I We're see. in G-Rank! But the thing is, we get- we, we, we come here now from the Elder Hall on an airship, right? An actual yeah. real airship. And yeah, I just fall off early. Yeah, did, did you just like ho hovering over the map like, you know what, this'll do, bye! Oh, that's good enough. No, I just like having a nice walk on the way. It's not all about speed, you know. It's because of the knees. We don't realize it, but the knees are the greatest conspiracy in Monster Hunter. They are? How are knees a conspiracy? Because how do the knees absorb infinite impact? Infinite knee? Like, can we put a hunter on their back, legs in the air, drop a, a house on them, and they'll, like, cushion the impact because their knees are unbreakable? Well, I mean, their knees would be fine, but they would also just get impacted into the floor with the rest of their body. They might still be okay, because... They've absorbed the shock. The shock isn't the only problem there, I'd say. You have a physical shock absorber and an emotional shock absorber. Why are you glowing orange? Why are you glowing red? Because I glow red. Well, I glow orange. Well, you should have said that. Feels like we have to have a beam struggle now. Ah! I said, feels like we have to have a beam struggle now! Hey, what are you gonna, what are you gonna call your beam? You gotta name your beam. Oh! Ow! Why did the most of like that ever come in? Like, oh, good, I can't wait to watch this. Are you not aware you're being stabbed in the head by an inst- Oh, there we go. Okay, okay, okay no, it just, it just took me a moment. <laughs> it took you a moment to ca- If I don't acknowledge the impalement, then it's not Paintball! Real. You can't oh, paintball me! Yes, I can! All right, on go. Go! Oh, you fell over in the middle of your beam. That's so awkward. Yeah, there's a bug attacking me and ignoring <laughs> you for some reason. Ah! I am triumphal! My beam is more powerful than yours! Oh, and thus I, I, you hit the it, ground! Yeah, that was definitely <laughs> the beam. That was totally the beam. A sizable amount of fighting. A song that I don't know? Yes, I've been writing. I didn't realize the song included my question. <laughs> it's a very proactive sing-along. And then what happens in the song? Then I'm hoping we find the Whoa. monster! That's green! Behold! Slime-covered Tetsu Capra! Yeah, I was gonna say, it doesn't look like slime, he just looks green. I'm just dealing with algae problems in my pond at the moment, so it's all I can think about when I see green things. How? Please, can I? I? I don't know about your problem. Oh my god, his face is so hot! I know, I'm in, the, I'm in another zone now. Was it too much for you to bear? Yeah, I had to take a break. <laughs> oh yeah, I missed this! 
froggy friend. Oh, you're missing a lot of cool things happening. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd like to be there, but the first thing he did was knock me into another zone. Well, so. you weren't ready for it, you know? That's correct. I wasn't prepared for something I've never seen before. Oh, come look at his giant flaming ball! That's a giant flaming... I, it's not there for me. What? <laughs> None of the balls that are on your screen are here for me because they happened while I wasn't in the zone. Behold! Berserk Tetsukabra! I mean, it doesn't remind me that much of Berserk, honestly. So this is a green explosive Tetsukabra. I like that. I like his color scheme a lot. He looks very hazardous. Like a, like a, like a poison yeah. heart frog type thing. It's somehow more froggy than the base. Because well, obviously yeah. the greens. I mean, I like the, the mixed color because it's more like he, he's colorful to denote the extra danger that he presents. And his face gets real warm. Too bad that he's in a warm place, though, because that probably doesn't help him. You, okay, just just mount him. Just mount him straight away. Yeah, I feel like mounting a frog should never really pay off. For them. Well, yeah, I mean, you mostly just squish them. Which is good for me. Unless it's the devil frog. Is the devil frog immune to squishing? I mean, it's the devil frog, man. It's got big devil powers. What do you think? Oh, big devil powers. I thought it just had the small ones. No, the, the largest uh, frog slash toad to ever lift. Uh, lift? To ever lift? <laughs> do you even lift, frog? 12, 13, 14. Look at me. 12, 15, 14. What, what is this? <laughs> Frogs don't count, but they do pump. You've never seen such buff frog's legs. I've not, and I've had French cuisine. They could feed a village, Matt. Frogs would be really good at gym equipment scale, oh, though. Yeah, yeah, they'd, they'd definitely be good at that, but most people are. Like, those are generally considered the easier of the machines. Generally, for most people, especially before you, like, train your body, because most people use their legs for a lot of things just Man, in we life. we need a show just called Gr Grim, Grim Boggs. Grim Boggs? We Grim need a show bog. called Grim Boggs. A this is the darkest bog on the planet. <laughs> I'd like a documentary spotlight on the world's most worst bogs, please. This I bog want... has 40 deaths per month. I wanted Jim Frogs and got Grim Boggs. You know you hate when that Grim happens. Boggs. Grim just... Boggs is a great, like, D&D character name. It is. Me Grimbogs. It's very barbarian -y. Bogs. Grimbogs. Grimbog. Oh, anyway, what I was trying to say is the largest froggy toad to ever live is called Beasel Beasel Buffalo. Beasel Bobbolo. Beasel Buffalo. Beasel Buffalo. Beasel Beasel Beelzebub. Named after Beelzebub. So, you know, okay. devilly. And? Oh, that's just where the devil frog oh, not it squished. Sounded like, that didn't sound like the end of your sentence. I was I was waiting for more information. <laughs> sorry, 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 my my extinct prehistoric giant frog facts. Well, you didn't mention it was a, an, an extinct prehistoric frog. Would have done well to include that part. Beasel, Beasel Bufo. There we go. Beasel Bufo. Oh, so he is a gym frog. <laughs> yeah, Beasel Bufo, the buff devil toad. Now oh. that is a boss fight, if I have ever oh, heard no, one. Oh you walk God. into a room, the music starts, the health bar comes up. Beasel <laughs> Bufo, the buff devil frog. So, you know, you know it's the largest. How large do you think it was? Uh, two, two feet? Oh, I mean, it had four feet. Oh, okay. It's a frog. Um, was it as large as my two feet? I don't know how large are your two feet. My feet are pretty fucking big, man. I'll, I'll be real with you. <laughs> it's a problem. You know, it's a problem when you have to, like, custom order shoes instead of just getting ones from well, a shoe store. Well, how about if I told you that its snout vents were 42 centimeters long? Okay, so probably more than two feet. <laughs> did you mount it again? I did, yeah. It just sort of happened. Ten feet. Ten feet. Can you imagine a ten-footed frog? I don't think we'd call that a frog at that point. That's a different creature. So, the correct answer is... 16 inches. So you're saying that its snout vents are, like more than half of its body? Frogs are, like, mostly head. Feels very, very misguiding. Well, I mean, that's still a big fucking frog. It's just, it's still a frog. No, I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I started with two feet, and that was pretty accurate. And then you were just like, yeah, but wait, wait. 16 inches is, I'm pretty sure 16 inches is smaller than 43 centimeters. I mean, I don't know what you want from me, man. I didn't, I didn't make the animal. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't think its snout vents are, are literally its entire body. Well, apparently they are, okay? It's just, this just doesn't add up to me. Basically, it was a frog the size of a cat, if that gives you any I, help. I would totally keep a frog cat as a pet. Right? <laughs> it would be so good. Hop into your lap, give it a cuddle. Yeah, and then it jumps away. 
then again, you don't want to really cuddle a frog because it'll absorb your, your skin bits for its skin and that's harmful to well, it. Well, then you wear gloves. Yeah, I mean, that is what you do to handle a frog, but they don't really like being... Oh, no! Oh, Cotton dead! Okay. I was just under him and I couldn't see my camera through his body and apparently he was attacking me. God, I love this Tetsu. He's so much He's better than regular good. Tetsu. It's very good. Honestly, I, I kind of like... prefer Berserk Tetsu to Drill Tusk. Oh, yeah, no, I, I, I do too. Like, Drill Tusk is all right, but it's definitely, like, parody Tetsu Cobra, I guess. <laughs> well, it's just like a lot of the deviants are, we're going to take this and we're going to make it extreme in the most literal way possible. And then some of them just sort of overdo it on the like believability scale. Where it's like, this is like, yeah, there's there's frogs that are like this. There, there are frogs that could do stuff like this. Maybe not the rock part, but you know. Sorry, what, what frogs What frogs are over here exploding rocks? Well, I mean, as I was saying, maybe not the rocks, but I, I'm pretty sure there are frogs that have like the ability to cause small explosions. <laughs> what? 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 I mean, bugs can do it. Why can't frogs? Bugs can't. The closest bug to causing an explosion is, is the bombardier beetle. But all it does is fire caustic liquid, which is still impressive, but it's not an explosion. It's an explosion of the skin. It's not. It's not, though. A slow explosion. Like a self-rupturing toad would be a very ineffective defense mechanism. In hindsight, there's no such thing as, as a slow explosion, because the whole point of an explosion is that it's atoms being... I mean, it depends fast. what you count as an explosion. If a whale beaches, it will eventually release so much gas as it rots that its stomach bursts open, which is explosion-like, but it does happen slowly. Well, no, because the stomach burst itself is a fast thing. It just doesn't happen for a while until it's ready. And then it rains whale bits. Oh, isn't that fun? a word for it. Well, I mean, you're the one just, like, going into the concept of raining whale bits. You don't want to be under some raining whale bits. I'm good. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to climb you. this waterfall. Yeah, why climb the shooty shooty bit? Why climb the shooty bit? Man, it's really hard to be around you sometimes. You don't you don't understand what water is. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> you, what, what are you doing? That's my job. Well, now it's my job. Although it shouldn't be my job because I do not have the stamina for it to be my job. Bye! Yeah, exactly. And also, I have earplugs when I do that. I literally am down to two bars of stamina and I don't know why this has happened, but I'm struggling. Oh, you, you probably have stamina down again. I don't have meat, okay? Bring, just bring meat. We're in G-Rank. Get meat. Cook meat. All right, barbecue advert. You can cook it in the sun for all... Cook it in the lava. That works. I wonder what lava cooked meat is actually like. Burnt as hell. Well, obviously, don't donkey honestly. tin, yeah, bloody nincompoop, but n nearby. Well, I mean, if it touches it, it's disintegrating. It's like a little, so. a little, a little lava adjacent cooking session. How would, how would you even get there without dying yourself? You can stand near lava. I wouldn't stand near lava, personally. I mean, don't fall in, but it's, it's safe to get within like a foot of lava. I mean, there's so many videos of people dropping shit in lava for, for fun. I just don't think it's a good idea. Well, obviously it might not be a good idea, but it's, it's possible. You don't just explode in flames if you look at a river of lava. Well, yeah, I mean, you can look at it from far away, so obviously that's it. <laughs> that would be a weird property of lava. Here, look at this picture! No! He does a lot of damage. I guess it's less that he does a lot of damage and more that I'm still in high rank oh, armor. Hey, me too, to be fair. Yeah, but you're also just sort of watching a lot. I'm timing my attacks. Earlier, you were talking about a frog and researching it while standing in a corner for about five minutes. And yet I still didn't die, so really... That's because you weren't you fighting him, so he wasn't that. fighting you. No! When something goes wrong... It is not becoming of oneself to blame others rather than introspectively ask, not what could you. I have done better? I'm not blaming you for me dying. I'm saying that's why you're not dying as much as I am. That's not the same thing. No, I'm not dying because I'm avoiding his attacks. Yes, and I'm saying why you're avoiding his attacks. Because you're not fighting him as much as I am. Being AFK is a recipe for not avoiding attacks, not avoiding them. You're not AFK, you're just standing far away. Just looking at this frog makes me feel so queasy. Ugh. Just have a bite. Kind of want to put my hand on him and tame him, you know, and his little book teeth. Just, just take it. Just take a. Just take a bite of a raw frog. Of what does a frog dream? <laughs> Die, you book-toothed fiend! Oh wow, I really sheared his tuskies. I did think that was the quest complete, but it was not the quest complete. That's okay. He's probably not long for this world. Probably not. No. In fact, he might even be shot for this world. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess in the grand scheme of, like, monsters, he is sort of short, yeah. Oh, God. Okay. I can't sprint! I can't! I can't sprint! God, I can't! Okay. Sprinting is dangerous anyways. I, I can't sprint! Kill the frog! Yes, sir. Ah! 
die! I think one of my attacks hit the rock as he was moving and it exploded and hit me. Oh, I really thought he was going to rock a third time. Nah, he's out of rocks he when he's dead. Ooh, massive bone. We offer you this life support system, oh, Jackie of the Depths. Well, I'm taking some of it. After we take a small piece. Now let's do one of the worst quests in the universe. That's what I love to hear before a quest. Hey, this time I followed you off the airship Why? because I've had enough of your shenanigans. Sounds more like you've had enough of the airship to me. I still think in Monster Hunter 6, Kinsec users should be able to have two Kinsecs and then yeah, fly with them. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you should be able to do it with just one. I mean, you don't need two. I mean, they're not that strong. Just surf on them. I watched Legends of the Guild. Surf on you, them. You saw the same movie I did. I mean, she stood on it for a little bit, but also I feel really bad. Like, if you stood on Glopovok, he would probably be a little bit hurt. You underestimate the strength of Glorp. Hey, wouldn't it be really cool to fight a a good old Cephadrome together? Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. But hey, what's better than one Cephadrome? Oh, what? Why? Is it two Cephadromes? Why would you? Why would anyone do this? Why would you choose to do <laughs> they this? They made this a key quest, Connor. I do they made it a key quest! I don't believe you. I think you're trying to hurt me. Why would I hurt you by hurting myself? Because you do that all the time? <laughs> I don't work on the rule that my pain is worth it if it's also your pain. I don't know that I believe that. Well, it depends what kind of pain. Really, I'm trying to slice up a cephalodrome. I did it. I said the sentence. I can only think of one reason that he wouldn't want you to do that. It's probably because it's a cephalodrome. But surely they want to only have one, so they're not... Co what is that hitbox? So they're not competing for territory. What makes you think they're competing for territory? They might be friends. Everyone knows that no Cephadrome has any friends. Even Cephadrome hates Cephadrome. That's probably that's probably why they're friends, is because they don't have any other friends. <laughs> Everyone hates us, we're a rubbish monster, you wanna hang out? Yeah, okay. I just wanna get orange buff. What part of you is orange buff? He doesn't believe in defense, come on now. Oh god, why did he just walk towards me and hip check? Fun, probably. And what is the check part? Is he checking his hip or our hip? Or does he want us to inspect? Like, what What part of the hip is the check? What the fucking cephalos? <laughs> Why did the cephalos do so much damage? <laughs> I think it was the second cephadrome that's returned. Oh, that's, that's good to know about. It's okay, man. We've all died to cephadrome. I mean, it literally just attacked me in a way that didn't put me fully on the ground. The second one attacked me while I was on the floor and able to do anything. So it's, it's just nice. Maybe we should name them. I nominate the paintball one to be Carlos. The other one is clearly, um, Francesco. Both better names than the actual monsters themselves. To be fair, the name is fine, at least. Is it? Sefa? It's okay. It doesn't really make sense either. It would be better if they were, like, squids. Yeah, actually, that's a good point. Cephalopod. Why are they not squid? If they were squids, I'd be well happy. Be much better monsters, yeah. There isn't really a situation that can't be improved by the introduction of a squid. Uh, ooh, ooh. A writing contest. No, because then it could inspire the writing. And then also cover all the sheets of paper with ink. Did did we happen to have both leaders? Yeah, I think they went off together. They're friends. Aww. You can't use a squid as like a squeegee of ink. I didn't say use it as a squeegee. Well, then how would it ink everything? It's not going to get over to the papers by itself. I mean, it could. It's clearly an underwater writing contest at the squid. Oh, sorry. Right. I missed that vital context that it was an underwater. So well, how are you writing underwater? Writing using what utensils? Uh, the underwater pens? Underwater pens. Well, how else do people write underwater, Josh? People don't write underwater! Well, they don't without underwater pens. What's an underwater pen? Pen that you can use underwater? Yeah, how? What's, 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 what, what's it make, what's it use, what's it write with, what's it- Sorry, do I look like a scientist to you? Don't make me out to sound like the crazy one I, I here. I think you are, though. You're the one that thinks there's pens for mermaids. I didn't say that mermaids existed, Josh. Nobody thinks that. <laughs> Then who's writing underwater? Scuba divers? Oh, sorry. All those notes that scuba divers need to Squids? take underwater. Well, it's easier than going back to the surface and then taking the notes. Surely they'd just use... But then you wouldn't need an underwater. You could just use a normal device. Yeah, but then you'd have to go back up before you do the notes. You might forget things. Just have an underwater piece of technology. Like a waterproof tablet. Like, a, like, a, like an underwater pen. No! No! You can't write underwater unless you like, draw lines in the sand on the seafloor, but that doesn't really help or count. It's like a, it's like a stone carving, basically. You can, you can do that underwater, right? I'm, I mean, with great effort, it's much harder to chip and chisel stone. I don't think it's harder to do underwater. I think it's about equal as long as you've got like a suit that makes you not be drowning. Non-drowning suit is a much better better name. Also gets the point across. I mean, what does scuba even mean, really? That's a great question. Sounds like school bus. I don't want a school bus suit. Oh, I 
know the answer to that. Why are you good? Yeah, because you just Googled it. No, no, but I, I knew it. <laughs> then why did you Google it? Oh, don't fucking give me that. You are the champion <laughs> of I completely forgot, but now that you said it, I remembered that I did know that. In any case, it was by Jacques Cousteau, and it's um, underwater, underwater, self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, scuba. Nice. Unfortunate acronym, though. It's not I like think. the acronym is like fart or something like that. It could be a lot Okay, of it doesn't have to be. Like, it just. Oh, God, I'm going to die. Well, then what makes <laughs> it unfortunate? It's, it's not like it's a word that's used for anything. Else. Oh. That's so annoying. Because you, you dive to dodge his big up thrust, you land on the floor, and then he shimmies into you as you get up, and the, the timing is such that you just get slapped. Sometimes you just got to let him have it, you know? I mean, it, you know, if, if all is well, this will be literally the last Cephadrome will ever hunt. In past Monster Hunter games. Yeah, I was about to say, don't say that like they're not going to put Cephadrome in Monster Hunter 6. Because they know it's everyone's favorite monster. Hopefully they just forget he exists. Yeah, I mean, Durambaros isn't going to be in the game and Cephadrome will. I I've already accepted this. <laughs> that would be so sad! It's just, it's just, gotta keep expectations Wanted realistic. Wanted Durambaros, got Cephadrome, not playing the game. Yeah, if you, if, you, if you see me just not playing Monster Hunter 6, that's why. Oh, one of them's limping! Oh, it's Carlos. Carlos is limping. Oh, I think Francesco is also limping. Is he? Because Francesco seems to be spinning. Spinning, limping, I mean. I mean, I guess spinning is a type of limp. If you can only spin. <gasps> see? 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 I didn't expect to walk up and hit him once and then he died. No, no, I'm just excited that he's dead. That was yes in Spanish three times. Oh, I thought you were, like, implying that we were in a type of sand sea. <laughs> see? 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 God, I wish I, I could speak Spanish as fluently as I used to be able to speak Spanish. Then learn it again. Fresh up. <laughs> fresh up. Brush up. That's the term that people use. Oh, I thought you said fresh up. Fresh up fresh on your up, Spanish. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, fresh up, motherfucker. We're going out. Fresh up. <laughs> Getting you a language app. Fresh up. Is it? Oh, no, I had a moment of, oh, he's, he's just died by himself. <laughs> I no, saw the yeah. other. The How other nice guy. of him. That's so cool, man. He's just died by himself. All right, clearly Glop has the has the wake-up hit that we need. I mean, do you disagree? Oh, I wanted that. Did it not wake him up? It didn't hit him. Oh. It would have killed him, but his head's too high. It looked like it went through his head for me. <laughs> I'm just glad we didn't die the third time and have to do it again. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been tragic. It was tenser than the Berserk Tetsu. Why do they have perp scales? They aren't purple. I think underneath the sandy muck, they're actually quite colorful. Why is there both Cephadrome and Geratidus? Because I feel like they're supposed to be similar creatures, just done differently. One is in sand, and one is in wet sand. That is... That is pretty much the long and short of it. But then, why? They could have just put fucking Cephadrome in world! Well, I don't pretend to know... The mind of the sand swimmers. I'm, I'm not saying that you should have the answer. I'm just saying that's a reasonable question to ask. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, that then is Mr. Bazark. How do you like your first G-Rex subspecies you've never hunted before? Pretty good. I liked it. Such a complex, intricate opinion. I can't... I can't stand up against it's it. It's almost as if we had, like, like a good ten minutes of opinion earlier. What are your words? Frog go boom. Frog do go boom. All right, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the bell for more, consider supporting the future channel on Patreon down below, and until we meet again, a good bye. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice, to reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is, uh, goodbye.